That's what you're all set. Thank okay. you. Okay, so, um, and on the steering wheel, so you'll be using the set and then the plus and minus to um, adjust the cruise control. Okay. Uh, no, that's for your vehicle speed. Okay. Okay, so, um, so that's like um, regular cruise control or, or adaptive cruise control. Okay. And then our super cruise button um, on the upper right. Um, okay. So you're going to, that's the super cruise. And then um, well, let's not worry about those. You'll, okay. So the main ones you'll be using will be the, the set, the plus, the minus, and the super cruise. Okay. Um, this is the display that Jeremy was talking about. Um, oh, okay. When super cruise is engaged, this is going to turn green. This whole thing? The whole, yeah. the whole, you'll okay. see a series of lights that are going to turn green. Okay. When you override steering, they're going to turn blue. Okay. Um, so green is autonomous, blue is driver's Driver charge. override, exactly. Okay. Off is off. And then in the unlikely event that you were told to take control, it would flash red, but that's okay. probably not gonna happen. The other safety protocol to mention is if something does happen, if it goes out of control, I'm gonna hit the emergency stop button. Okay. Um, you'll lose power steering. Other than that, you're able to drive and, and pull off to the side of the road. Okay. It hasn't happened yet. Um, okay. Hope that it doesn't. Okay. Um, there are cameras and I believe the audio recording um, that you get to take away at the end. Okay. And let me see if there are any other HMI Items. So, um, my uh, Confederate driver is WD, who's right ahead of us. Um, so, I'm going to be instructing him to do a number of maneuvers, and I'll be telling you, um, Leslie, a couple of, of things that. Sorry, is it Leslie or is it it's Leslie? Leslie. Leslie, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Leslie uh, I'll instruct you on a couple of um, maneuvers that I'll have you do as well. So, the first thing, I want them to get ahead of us, but the first thing is um, you're going to get up to 60 miles per hour, and then we'll engage the whole system. Okay. So, you can go ahead and take off. So you'll pass him, WD will oh, get in behind okay. us. And we're going to want you to get into the third lane. Uh, this is one, two, then one more. You get up to 60. Um, when you're in 60, um, you'll hit the set button on the, the left hand side. And that's setting your cruise control. So now you're, you're set to 60. Um, your actual speed is a little bit higher, but that's fine. So you can let off the gas and then um, hit the super cruise button on the upper right. Okay, it's gone green. You can let go of the wheel. Okay, that's super cruise. <laughs> now we're going to get that down to one touch, one button. Okay. Um, but it's driving where you set it in the lane at the speed that you set it to. It is. It's and it'll do that all day long. So we're going to do a few maneuvers. Um, WD is going to get ahead of us. Uh, he's going to pass us. Um, when he's, and he's going to pull in front of us, and you're going to see the vehicle head icon is going to light up. And then he's going to slow down to 50. You don't need to do anything. Um, it will automatically um, slow down to 50 and maintain a two-second gap uh, behind him. So see what he gets in front of us. It detects him. Seconds away, so you're gonna you're gonna get closer automatically, and then when you're at about two seconds away, it'll start to back off to his speed. It is. There you go. Yeah. So that's okay, uh, WD, go ahead up to pick up to 70. He's gonna speed away, so you're gonna go back to your set speed of 61. Okay. So it'll speed back up as it pulls away. Okay. So the next thing um, we're going to show is a maneuver. Um, WD, back, come back to 50 and stay in this lane. And when I tell him to, he's going to slow down to 30 and go in the adjacent lane. You are going to grab the wheel and follow him with the steering. Don't don't do the brakes or the throttle. Just steer behind him as he as, and follow him as he okay. slows down. Uh, so let's hold on, WD. Just uh, stay at 50. I want to catch up, and I want us to be going the same speed. This is just to show how quickly it lets the driver take over. Uh, well, it uh, shows you what an override looks like okay. or feels like. So WD, go ahead when you're ready and slow down to 30 and go in the adjacent lane. So go ahead and grab the wheel and follow him. So it went blue. Um, and then hold on to it until it goes green. And then, you'll, then you can let go. Okay, we'll do it again. Um, WD, slow down and go one lane over to 25 and go ahead, go ahead and grab the wheel and follow him. It goes blue, you're, you're in control. Well, you need to hold the wheel until, until it, goes it goes green. green. Okay, and wherever you are in the lane when it goes green, that's where it's going to keep you right there. there you get let go. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So, 
just like with cruise control today. Cruise control, you can step on the gas and you override, and when you let go, it goes back to rework. Mm -hmm. Same with the steering. We're trying to follow that model. You can steer, and then when you're done, it'll re-engage. It's a little unnerving, but it, but it's, it does work. <laughs> And it's very natural yeah. to be hovering over the brake and hovering over yeah. the. And the, I am. <laughs> but in a couple of laps, you'll, you're gonna okay. want you're gonna want to buy one. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna um, WD is gonna go back over two lanes to sixty. You're, again, you're gonna override follow and follow him. Yep. And okay. it's gonna go right back up to your set speed of sixty. You see that as soon as he moved out of the way, the car picked up speed. Yep. So when it's blue, I should actually be looking at the gas be, too. You should be. I'm sorry. I should be actually. No, you don't need to. No. Okay. No, you can override one or or the other. That's okay. up to you. So uh, WD, get ahead of us. Um, so we're gonna stay at 60. You'll just stay here. Um, he's gonna get a little bit further ahead. He's gonna pull over into the right lane. You can slow down to 50, and then he's gonna come in front of us when I tell him to. Okay. Okay. And you don't need to do anything. You don't want me to do anything. I don't need to. Not right? react or anything. Nope. Okay. If you if you get nervous, you're, it's fine to do whatever you want to do. Okay. But uh, you don't need to. But if I don't, it'll be. It'll be fine. So uh, WD, go ahead, slow down to 50 and pull into the other lane. And um, when I tell him to, he's going to come from us. And what you'll see is uh, right now, he's he, this should go off to say that uh, he's that there's no one in our path. We're set to 60 miles per hour. He's going 50. Okay, WD, now. Okay, so someone cuts in front of you. It detects them. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It backs off to try and get back to that two-second headway. And then it's going to, when it's a two-second headway, it's going to come back to the, um, to the to his speed, to his 50 miles per hour. So in the production models, this will be incorporated into your gauge box? Into the cluster okay. and, and uh, the heads-up display as heads well. Up. Some right. Right, between That's those two. Okay. Not this, though. This is trying to tell you um, who's controlling the wheel. We need it tied to the wheel. Yep. So it's very so this intuitive. Be, this is production. It's our, okay. Something like that. That's a prototype of what we have to put in the um, So the other um, the other item to show you, let's um, maintain 50 WD. Um, right now you're set to the right side of the lane. You set when you engaged it, you were to the right. you were okay. 50 centimeters off of center. That's okay. fine. That's it's normal to be one side or the other. No one drives in the middle. Okay. Let's say right now you're eating a cheeseburger. Um, someone's favorite in <laughs> story. Uh, your hands are occupied, and you want to nudge yourself over to the other side. We've got sensors on the seat bolster where you can tap with your elbow, and so you can hit on the left-hand side. Every time you tap, it's going to nudge you. Go ahead. <laughs> tap, tap. Do it again. Do it again and again. Keep doing it. It's going to nudge you. <laughs> it's going to nudge you over to the other side of the line. Right. It went from negative to positive. Okay. Right. You could be plus that or minus 50 centimeters off of center, wherever you want to be. Now, it's it started off wherever you were when you engaged it. Yes. Um, but that changes. And so you could, um, we have a couple of different ways of doing this. The elbow switches is one. Yes, you can, you can move it back over. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because yes. your hands are off of the wheel. I'm it's eating. driving for, you're eating, I'm right? Reading the book. Yeah. You're, you're engaged somewhere we don't want to read. Don't want you reading a book. Um, but, your hands are occupied for whatever reason, and, but you wanted to nudge. We will nudge adaptively, automatically, okay? If there were an 18-wheeler, we'd nudge you around that 18-wheeler. Because you're not going to want to skim right plus no. We know that. Everyone nudges. Plus. We'll do that part automatically. But if for some reason you're like, I don't like being, I want to see around that guy yeah. who's ahead of me. I want to nudge myself. I can just do that, nudge okay. myself over. Not a problem. Very cool. Hmm. So that was... Those were all the scenarios I wanted to take you through. Um, we have a couple of miles before we get back to the beginning. Um, any questions, comments? How soon before this becomes commonplace? Like, well, it's a little way off, isn't we're, it? We're, I'm the project manager working on um, developing this into production. Okay. Um, so we intend to bring this into production uh, this decade. You'll, you'll see this, you'll be able to buy that this technology um, in, in this decade. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You know, it's great. Like we, we were discussing the technology. On, on one hand, I love to drive, so I kind of hate it, and I can't stand people that text. But on the other hand, this is great because it protects us from that. That's you know? that's part of it. And then they're gonna do it anyway. And I'm an 
it, people are going to do it anyway. Yeah. They're already driving, as Ellen pointed out, people are already driving as if they had this in their yeah, cars and they that's don't. That's right, yeah. But also, um, a lot of driving is what someone described to me as garbage driving. Yeah. I love to drive too. I've got an old 58 Jag that I've restored. I'm a yeah. car guy. Okay? Yeah. And I love to drive. But I don't like my commute to work. No. I, and, and it's I don't, wasted time. I don't like my, you know, the long um, vacation drives. Yeah. It's wasted time. It's garbage yeah. driving. Yeah. And under those circumstances, I'd love to have a system like this yeah. where it could make driving less stressful. I could be doing other things. And, and I think there's a number of demographics that will benefit from this. I think of the elderly who are yeah. afraid to drive on the highway anymore or afraid to drive at night. Yeah. I think of um, the disabled. Uh, professional drivers who, yeah. you know, this is what they do. They put 50, 60,000 miles uh, a year yeah. on a vehicle. They'd love to have something like yeah. this. Yeah. Um, I can imagine someone who's in sales and they have to cover a whole region and it's mm-hmm. part of their job. Yeah. It's this drudgery. is going to help ease their fatigue. Yeah. yeah. The, the $400 an hour attorney who could be, you know, billable hours right now, <laughs> yeah. but they're forced to drive. Yeah. So there are a lot of people I think that so they could be working. Benefit. I mean, it's, it's necessary because people are already living as if we do have it, you know. It's Unfortunately. Pretty, it's pretty dangerous stuff, yeah. I saw one uh, statistic uh, from AAA that said that something like 94% of people object to being in, to texting in cars and whatnot, but a whole third of them said they, Still do they, it. They, they, they've done it. I don't know how you can text in a car. Like, I, I can barely text when I'm sitting still, you know. Um, we're going to, um, in about a half a mile, um, okay. we'll pull back uh, where the cars are. So um, okay. when you're ready, you can tap the brake and disengage everything, and then you'll be driving the car. Okay, so then it's unautonomous. It's not super cruising. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so that the, is very impressive. Congrats. It's an amazing job. Thank you. Oh, it's great. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it is. It's the fun part of the job. Yeah, it's a, it's a little creepy at first, but when you see that it really works, you, you know, very quickly get comfortable. You with do, it. You, you are comfortable. Of course, there weren't cars whizzing by. That might have been That's a little bit different. That, <laughs> yeah, we closed the track for this event, yeah. but but um, That's the next we've driven. Right? No, we have driven with other. You can follow that. Yeah, just okay. follow WD. Uh, bring to a stop. Uh, put it in parking and don't shut it off.